Okay, how to create basically stitches and then create an opacity mask. So that you can use it anywhere else and mask it. So the first thing, as you can see, I have basically created here a fill layer. That's very simple to do. But in order to create an opacity map, you need to have an opacity channel. And in order to generate an opacity channel, you need to have, first of all, a supporting material. And if you don't have that, you can't do it because you need that kind of like feature. So the first thing you need to do is you go up here to the shader settings. And then in the shader settings, you need to make sure that you can find a material or a shader that supports it. In this case, it's a PBR metal roughness with Alva blending. So you search for it, it's very tiny here, but again, I repeat it and I say it, it's called PBR dash metal dash rough dash with alpha blending, period. So if you have that, this is what you need as the first step. It will not work. So once this is identified, then you have now different channels available. You can assign to that material and guess what? One of those channels is the so-called opacity channel. You click on the plus and then opacity pops up here. I have it already in uh, here assigned and that's how you basically get it. Now, once this channel is assi assigned, you can find it now here, basically in your property settings and then you can activate it. So again, if you click on it, it's activated. Now, you can only assign a fill layer after the proper shader was assigned and then the opacity uh, feature was assigned too. And now check this out. If you select now opacity, you bring it from one to zero, basically the entire geometry disappears, fades away because there's an opacity in it. Now in terms of creating stitches. So you can assign a paint layer, okay? And if you have this paint layer assigned, you can go over to your library, type in stitches, and then you will find here a brush that has already stitches straight. And then when you start now doing any kinds of stitches on your sack here, right? For Santa, red and white. So then you can literally see that it's doing it very nicely and it's assigning it. And if you go now to your bottom layer, the fill layer, and you bring the opacity all the way back, you basically see only that. And that's exactly what you want. Now it's about exporting those texture maps and exporting the opacity map. Well, you would say you are done yet, but no, you are not because there's even more. First of all, you hide that geometry you would like to have on full opacity. Second, you go to File, Export Textures. And in here in the texture settings, there are of course different presets and output templates you can pick from. I created here my own one, but no matter what you do and what preset you pick, you have to assign now the opacity map in order to use that map for your next journey or for the next software you're going to use. How to do that is basically you assign a gray channel. I do the whole thing here for you from scratch. You assign a gray channel, grayscale channel. Then what I do, I usually copy and paste all the text from the top. And then if you have here, instead of opacity, you might have metal roughness space or whatever, just change it. I call this also opacity. And then you see here the input maps, you select the opacity, drag it on top of it, and you assign here from the gray channel. This is where you want to have it. Boom, done. I delete this here because I have it already here. Now, if you go to export, make sure you ha have also PNG. I didn't check it yet for 8 bits. If it's really working in 8 bit, we can check immediately. And see, I used 8-bit before. 
but here is the opacity map and if I'm going to open it in Photoshop you see you have your alpha um, and it works so hopefully that was helpful and for my own documentation because I always forget how complicated it is how many steps you need in order to generate that map here we go that's how you do it